Hey, well, welcome to Boom Lever Design. Boom Lever is in rotation this year instead of towers that we had last year. Um, so there's new testing apparatus. The way we test, uh, it has to be a vertical wall. This has to be a strong wall. It can't flex or fold. You can add supports if you need to, but in the rules there are certain size requirements. Make sure you're following those. There's a single hook. This is where the boom lever attaches. Where it is positioned on the wall is important, so you want to take great care with those details. You'll notice there are two lines, because the only difference between middle school and high school is how far below that hook the boom lever is allowed to touch the wall. There are a couple different testing methods. Um, some pour sand with cans uh, into the bucket. Um, this particular one, there's a lever that we open and close to pour sand. Um, so there are slightly different ways that that happens. Um, they can open and close that, make adjustments. So you also need to provide sticks. These are for the students to use to help stabilize the bucket. Um, I, I recommend that they don't use them. Uh, they should only use them if they're pouring sand because then the bucket might swing. With a mechanism like this, it doesn't swing. You also, as the event supervisor, need to provide a loading block, the hook that connects to it, and the chain. This is what goes on the boom lever so that we can apply load. Um, besides that, you need some measuring devices. Uh, this line, obviously, is one of your measuring devices. Uh, I might, I'm still designing some ideas here, but uh, maybe you have some suggestions for me where we need to measure from the wall to where the loading block sits. That has to be between 40 and 45 centimeters. That is to the, that is to the center of the block. Let's talk about the hook. You want to zoom in here? This hook, the center line of the bolt is the definition. The distance below that to the red line is 15 centimeters. From that line to the middle school line is 20 centimeters. That's the center line of the bolt. This top part of the hook needs to be 2.5 centimeters, plus or minus one millimeter, from the wall. I use a block that I've measured. This is just something I have standard in my class. If that fits in there, it is 2.5 centimeters. Um, that's an easy way to measure that. It needs to be vertical, and the students are not allowed to move it. It is rigid in place, and that stays there. All right, let's show you the procedures for students to test it. So a student brings their device. Uh, they have to go to the check-in table. That's where they mass their boom lever. Uh, they answer questions about how much it will hold. Uh, they might answer questions about how they've constructed it. And these are important questions because they are to be the ones who built the structure. Or at least someone within the 15 members of their team should have built the structure. Not a parent, not an engineer, them. Um, so, after they do that, now they come to the testing station. And they, supervisors, don't touch their boom levers. Students place them on the hook. Students place the loading block. They can take their time, they have six minutes, but they get everything settled in place. At this point, the supervisor might measure, but I'll be clear, the student holds the measuring device somehow so that we can check and make sure that the 40 centimeters is between. The supervisor can check to make sure it's above the red line. And now we're ready to hang some stuff. S-hook. Again, I don't touch. As the supervisor, I hand that to the student. The student places it. Now, I show them where to put the hook. There's a certain link. And that link is important because if it's too low, the bucket will hit the ground. If it's too high with my system, the valve hits it. So that position is kind of important. You'll need to figure that out for your device. Students hang the bucket. And at this point, we're ready to start loading. I am not going to load this boom lever today. I haven't tested it yet, uh, so I'm going to wait. But at this point, a student would begin measuring. As supervisor, you do want to watch, and there's a clock going. If the boom lever shifts, if it touches below the line, pouring sand stops. Uh, if the boom lever breaks, 
pouring sand stops. So you do need to keep an eye open because say it breaks, if you're not paying attention, and they just keep letting sand roll, you have to judge how much sand to take back out. And that's a tough call to make, so you do want to be watching carefully. I will give you a hint. When the bucket hits the ground, um, if you're using a device like this, the continued pouring, it makes a little mountain, and it's kind of easy to tell what sand poured after the bucket hit the ground, and you can make a judgment call. That's about it for testing the boom lever. Thanks for running this event. I know you put a lot of work and time in, and uh, your efforts are greatly appreciated.